Maniacs, welcome back to the channel, doing more Nukes Top 5. If you guys like this type of content and want some more content like this, always be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel, and please go support me on Patreon. Help me hit my end of the year goal with 150 patrons. It would mean so much. Even if you want to support me for a dollar a month, it would mean the world to me. It would make sure that we continue to do what we do in 2025. That is the goal right now, is to try to get to our certain goals before 2025 so we can continue to do the reaction channel. So if you love my honesty when it comes to the paranormal, aliens, uh, cryptids, horror films, or anything like that then please take the time go over to patreon link in the description become a patron it means a lot let's go ahead and dive into this yes you guys know me that sometimes i can be blunt and honest if i think something is fake or maybe if i think it's real i'll say say i think it's real so i try to dissect and um i hope you guys can bear with me and have fun tunnel vision this next video was sent in to popular Japanese ghost hunting team Clip Store by a man who claims that the footage was recorded by his now deceased older brother. Ooh. The man says that his brother was a big fan of the paranormal and often spent his free time exploring well-known ghost spots in Japan. So one day his brother okay. decides to film an allegedly haunted tunnel somewhere in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. He has an encounter that is absolutely terrifying. Yikes, that was creepy. Someone like moaned. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, that's creepy. After the I... man hears a creepy, unexplained voice coming from right behind him, he quickly spins around to see the ominous yeah. dark figure standing right in front of him. A shadowy shape that had not been there only seconds before. It's weird. It's weird. I'll get, okay, most of you guys know I do give my honest opinions about certain things, and the guy is apparently deceased, so I don't want to try to slam him or any in any sort of way. I don't want to be disrespectful at all. If there's a good possibility that this is real, however, I'm noticing something that is very common in Japanese paranormal videos. And if it now, if I'm correct, I'm gonna get my glasses. I'm gonna get my glasses to give it a fair. Okay, so it's it's kind of exactly what I figured it was, which is a spirit of a girl with her hair covering her face and black hair. Now the the entity itself. It could be real. I'm 50-50 on this one. However, I do have a bit of a doubt in my mind because of what it looks like. It just looks like a very typical entity that you would expect from videos like this. Very creepy video though, regardless, very creepy. Absolutely terrified, the man makes a run for it. But the story gets even weirder because a few weeks later, the man who recorded this video passed away in a freak accident. This horrifying video was found on the man's phone. It was the last video that he recorded before his death. So the Clip Store team tracks down the location, but they don't really find anything unusual during their investigation. So could it be that the man accidentally recorded real paranormal phenomena? And could this have somehow led to him losing his life in such a tragic way? It could have been. I 100% there could have been something paranormal that led to his death because he went down there and may have come across something that he should not have come across. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and say I believe this probably 75% right now. I'd go ahead and go 75%. Let me know. Creepy and unsettling. The Viaduct Tavern. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations recently investigated the notoriously haunted Viaduct Tavern in London. The viaduct has been around for hundreds of years and was built just a few yards away from the site of the infamous old Newgate prison where thousands of criminals were executed. The oh, town's third shit. floor was once a brothel where a lady of the night named Kate tragically lost her life. With such a long and dark history, 
It's no wonder that over the years, landlords, workers, and even visitors have witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. Nevertheless, the tavern has become a very popular local historical pub. The Ghost Tech team sets up several static cameras and begin their investigation on the third floor, where most of the supernatural activity has been witnessed. It doesn't take long before the three investigators start to hear very strange sounds coming from the floor right above their heads. Wow, that's continuous. Hello? I can hear you. I can hear you walking. There was a few footsteps on the floor above us. Pretty clear too, yeah. Wow. As I stand on the stairs to the full floor, I hear footsteps above me on the floorboards. Here is the audio taken from Static Cam 5, which is located up on the full floor. The creepy sound of someone walking can be heard on the fourth floor of the Viaduct yeah. Tavern. The Ghost Tech team believes that they might be making contact with the spirit of Kate, the lady of the night that tragically passed away there long ago. I was going to say it kind of sounded like high heels, take, like walking that were very loud and distinct and creepy. And the fact that it stopped when he talked, kind of also something I paid attention to, too. And what happens next is downright creepy. Ooh, building up the height. If I knew your full name, I could look in the newspapers the old newspapers and find out what happened to the person that did that terrible thing to you. That's all I need from you is your surname. Wait, what? So if I hold this out. Guys. Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. That was someone's head. 100%. Something's in that room. It just went past the window and I've got it on film. No way. Something went across that window. Kate? While asking questions, Jeff captures a dark figure quickly moving in front of a window, not once, but twice. Jeff yeah. immediately- Like it was at a far distance at first and then it got really close. That is some insidious shit. That was creepy. Alerts the team of what he's captured, but they can't find any explanation for the bizarre no. encounter. And that isn't the only time the team captures something unexplainable that night. Back on the third floor, the three investigators begin to hear strange pretty good. disembodied voices. And then this happens. There you go. That's what I was hearing. Shh. Kate, tell me your name, your full name. We can find out. Find out what happened to you and whether the person that did it was caught and punished. Uh, getting unsettled feelings. Oh god. What just happened? Hey there! There was someone stood by me. Okay. There was someone stood by, by me then. Oh, I don't know. That is the clearest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, calm down. Mark nearly jumps out of his skin as he sees someone standing right next to him. Alright, calm down. Look, there's no one there. However, when the ghost team reviews their recorded footage later, did they, get they it? realize that Mark actually did capture what he saw on camera. No way. Now it can only be seen for a split second when slowing down the footage, but as Mark spins around, the unexplained face of someone can be seen standing right next to him. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's very hard to make out. You can see the shadow on the wall too. That's so creepy. Could this be the ghost of Kate? 
the lady of the night who tragically lost her life inside the tavern? Or could it be the spirits of prisoners who were executed where the Either tavern or. now stands? You decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Maybe I should go ahead and check out their channel. I do a lot of paranormal investigation reactions, so maybe I should check it out at some point. Obviously, I'm going to check out the ones I promised first off. I'm going to go back to overnight and stuff like that at some point. But that wouldn't be a bad one to keep in mind. Encanto. Ghost Hunter Idol from the YouTube channel Ghost23 sets out to explore a remote waterfall in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by tall mountains. Idol has been told that the waterfall is haunted That's by beautiful. an environmental spirit known as an Encanto, a mythical being that has the ability to appear in human form. Idol is completely alone as he makes the difficult climb up the waterfall with nothing but a camera. The sun is setting fast and with very little daylight left, Idol captures something truly chilling. Okay. Oh! Wow. Wow. There's someone standing right oh, there. Yeah. yeah. Moving their arm, it looks like. Yeah, do not take your camera off that person. Yeah, go. Where is he? Hello? Who is the person who is just standing here? I know there was. I saw him. A mysterious figure appears to be watching Idol as he's exploring and recording footage of the waterfall. The person then just walks away, disappearing mm. into thin air. Mm. Now, there is nowhere... Well, I didn't see that he disappeared into thin air. It looked like he went behind the, the fucking wall. ...for this figure to have disappeared to, as there is a steep drop below and a tall, unclimbable cliff above. Idol is baffled and confused by what he just saw and can't find anywhere that the mysterious being could have went. It's almost as if it walked right into the waterfalls surrounding the mountain. I don't necessarily believe that one. I, I just don't. I just don't. Uh, Nuke kind of said that there was no way he could climb that cliff or anything like that, but the guy gave him plenty of time to disappear wherever. Do I believe that's paranormal? Not necessarily. It looks like this person could have a t-shirt on, and, and the way that the colors are on the screen could really do- it's really kind of hiding it. I don't know if I buy this as it's paranormal. A, waterfall. a cry for help. This next video is a bit of a mystery, as it was reposted to TikTok without a source or information. The video shows CCTV footage of a young girl as she walks around her home. What happens next is like something from a nightmare. I don't think I've seen this one. Door shut, not a good sign. Lights are flickering. Lights suddenly begin to flicker, startling the young girl as she rushes for the door. An ominous dark shape can be seen slowly moving towards her, one dark edge reaching out. Again, I don't buy it. It just felt too cinematic. It felt too scripted. It felt too... Of course, the door opens the second the brother gets to it, and the sh like. of course, it was going so slow. Most of the stuff that happened there could have easily been faked. Easily could have been faked. Off Sorry. the rails. 
Stephen Kerner is out on a drive through the countryside of Minnesota when he spots something very odd. Ooh, I love it. Gotta love it. Have I seen this one? Uh, oh boy. What the? Uh... Well, that ain't good. That's creepy. Don't know who's running that, but I mean, yeah, okay. A small empty train car with an empty caboose slowly moves along the track, even though no one is driving it. Steven is a little confused by what he just witnessed, but he just shrugs it off and drives away. But after posting his bizarre encounter on TikTok, someone spots something that Steven didn't see. Really? Not, but I mean, yeah, okay. What? Please tell me I'm not the only one who saw that. This thing, right here. Zoom in. What the f is that? Viewers do, are so do me a solid. And they see an odd pale figure seemingly hanging out of the back of the train. Many believe the tiny locomotive to be a ghost train. A skinwalker? And some believe that the train might be haunted by a spirit. And others just think it's a very odd occurrence paired with pareidolia. But. What do it's you moving. think this is? It's actually Let moving. Let me know down in the comments. I don't know. A rough ride. That's tough. That one's tough. Freaky. Yeah, I didn't even notice that thing sitting in the back right there. You have to have a good eye for that. Take that user Jose Castillo and his friends often mountain bike after work on some wooded trails near the city of Oaxaca, Mexico. One evening after dark, Jose and his friends go out on a trail that... Why would you ever want to go bike riding on trails at nighttime? You're asking for coyotes, you're asking for dangerous wildlife, and even ghosts in this situation. They've taken many times before, but this time things take a terrifying turn. Jose's GoPro camera is recording when something happens that still gives him chills to this day. Someone or something appears out of nowhere and Jose barely manages to swerve around it. Wait, wait. When slowed down and paused, the figure appears to be cloaked, wearing a veil that's translucent enough that you can see what looks like a face. A very disturbing face. Ooh. Many viewers of Jose's TikTok believe that he captured the infamous weeping woman, La Llorona. I, I wouldn't know if it was that, but that was unsettling. Regardless, it could be La Llorona. Okay. A vengeful spirit Creepy. of Mexican lore that mourns the loss of her children. Oh, wait. Uh, I think I saw her hands. Like, her hands were together, and they were kind of departing for a second, so they were moving. Okay, that was uh, creepy. What nice. do you think this is? Let me know. I'm um, probably a weeping woman. I... <laughs> gone wrong. Two <laughs> friends decide to explore an abandoned industrial park at an undisclosed location in China. The site has been abandoned for over three years, and most of the entrances have been locked shut to prevent intruders and squatters. Oh, they do a but great job of keeping them out. this doesn't stop the two explorers as they manage to find a way inside. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay. Ooh. They start to explore the construction floor by floor. That's when they spot something absolutely unnerving. And there's no one there. Did you see it? Someone appears to be sitting on a chair inside one of the empty offices. The yeah. cameraman calls out to his friend and they quickly turn back and check out the room. What the f But there's no one there. Looks like a straight up black entity. Looks like he has white shoes on. And by the way, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the full clip. So maybe the full clip actually shows them looking around the corner and stuff. But okay, turn to the turn to this way. Turn this way. So did they accidentally capture a paranormal event or is it? I can definitely see someone with a hoodie and white shoes. Not saying ghosts don't wear those, but doesn't necessarily come off to me as paranormal just yet. They didn't really show a whole lot 
And whenever I see a ghost video that never shows the full room, I start getting a little bit doubtful. 50-50 on that one. guest. In this next creepy video, two police officers are alerted by an Airbnb homeowner who suspects someone has broken into her house. How's it going? Hey. What, what seems to be the problem? I, I left for a while to go shopping and when I came home, the door is open. I think somebody broke in. The homeowner says the house should be empty but is worried that an intruder might be inside. The two officers make their way into the house as their body cameras record the entire incident. Okay, this has a lot of lot going for it right now. If anyone's here, make yourself known. One of the officers is checking out the downstairs bedroom, and this is when things start to get weird. Goodness gracious, shut the fuck up. What was that? Did I just see something? Ooh. Anyone inside? You didn't check that bathroom too well there, officer. A loud bang can be heard, and at the same time, Our strange closet. interference That's closet, yeah. comes through the radio. The officer now heads upstairs, and his body cam starts to experience strange video glitches. What happens next is downright chilling. <coughs> Ooh. Oh yeah, it's really getting... Police! Anyone inside, make yourself known. That door just fucking opened. No way. Does it slam? There's no one in the room. Does door shut? God, it's getting quiet. No, that's not good. I knows you behind that door. Oh, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be anxious, man. I'd be like, I'm getting out of here right now. Nope, not for me. I'm a Ghostbuster. Oof. It's really lagging. Downstairs, clear. What's that noise? Ooh, someone ran up on him. I'm gonna pop a cap in you. That is creepy. Don't turn your back. Don't turn your back. Uh. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're good. Now, understandably, this police officer is done with this house. If he's like, we're good. on their own without explanation, and when the officer is about to go downstairs, the loud sound of charging footsteps or stomping can be heard right behind him. He swings around, but again, no one there. This footage was later released as the officer claimed to have experienced paranormal activity while inside the house. So just what do you think is going on here? Is this Airbnb haunted? Let me know down in the comments. Well, the fact that this is a police officer and this is actually them going to a house because, you know, they think there's an intruder. And there's a lot of credibility behind this video. And I'm going to go ahead and say I do personally believe it. That's one of my biggest fears. If a ghost ever runs up behind me, like the, the sound of someone running up and there's no one there freaks me out. An Creepy odd stuff. intruder. A woman in Jamaica steps outside to retrieve music something from her car. 
but she doesn't know that an absolutely chilling event is about to occur. That was weird. As the woman exits her house and walks towards her car, we can see some strange translucent shape charge out of the woods near her house and run right inside the front door. Now, whatever this is does not seem to be any kind of compression glitch. The woman in the video is perfectly clear, and also the figure approaches the light and still remains an eye. Yeah, you can definitely, you can definitely see like the form of a person. Distinguishable mist. Yeah. But is it supernatural? And if not, just what is this? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Jerry. Jerry. After three years of living a happy, peaceful life in their apartment in the United Arab Emirates, Zark, his wife, and son That's cool suddenly name. begin to experience terrifying, unexplained activity. Shh. Let me just check. Someone just banging on something. Oh, it's the cabinet, isn't it? N no, it's not. I lied. It's coming from the cupboard. It's hard to focus on both cameras. <laughs> Could you please drop? Besides hearing knocking, banging, and scratching, the family has a truly bizarre scare when one day they inexplicably find maggots all over their apartment. Zark oh, explains phobia. that he's gotcha. a skeptic, but that he's become increasingly more alarmed by his son's unusual behavior. The young boy claims he sees someone named, quote, Jerry. Jerry. But Jerry isn't always friendly. Zark and his wife don't believe the boy at first, but when one day he complains about Jerry again, they decide to check their CCTV camera and are shocked by what they find. Needless to say, Zark and his wife now believe that Jerry might be something real after all. And whatever this presence is, it seems to become increasingly more aggressive. Really? Jerry's got an attitude. Pura saman gira hua there. What? Yeah. Objects around the house are moved and thrown, but nothing compares to what happens on another night while the family is fast asleep in bed. Zark is suddenly woken up by the unexplained sound of running water. Hello. It's five minutes early today. 
The intensity of this kind of shit going on, though, man, must be legitimate. Uh, I don't remember the scooter being near the door. Nice. Oh, yep, there it is. More water flowing. So the bathroom. Wire's gonna turn back on. Oh, there was a mist, it looked like. Zark hears the sound of running water and discovers that both the faucet in the kitchen and the bathroom, and the bathroom. have mysteriously turned on by themselves. Zark then hears loud banging and the sound of someone running. He then captures a strange, small, smoke-like figure moving right in front of him. Zark is freaked out by what he has just experienced, so he checks his CCTV footage to see if anything else was captured that night. When he rewinds his footage back to just before the running water woke him, he is shocked by what his CCTV captured. Ah, the scooter moving, gotcha. All the way to the door. First thing I'm gonna do is assume, uh, I, look, A tall, translucent figure can be seen walking right beside a scooter that seems to move across the floor. Zark is now convinced that his apartment is haunted by something that he can't explain. You know what's very interesting about that? I'm going to tell you right now. The first thing I noticed when I saw the outline of that image, that spirit, was it was very much similar. Let me go back a little bit and... Exactly. That is my point. The form of the the spirit that they captured on that thing has almost the same exact body form as Zark right there. Almost the exact same. He has almost a beer gut thing going. It looks just like him. I think this is fake. 100%. So there was a lot in there that was creepy. I, I gotta say, uh, a lot of them really affected me, especially the police officer one, which I actually do give a lot of credibility to. Very unsettling stuff. The, f the number one though, with that whole, if he did not show that, if it was fake, which I do believe it was, if he didn't show himself as the ghost, I feel like it would have been a lot more believable, but it was the exact same look of the, the dad. I didn't buy that one at all. Uh, comment down below, let me know your guys' thoughts. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to support this channel even farther and go beyond what normal subscribers do. Support me on Patreon. It's the best place to support me and make sure that this reaction channel will keep going for as long as you guys want it to. And yeah, I will do more reactions like this and give you guys my honest opinion. So keep it retro and do take care.